hey, before we start this video, have you entered into our giveaway? Go ahead and give us a shout out on one of your social medias and subscribe right now to be entered into our giveaway every single week. Okay, I know you want to win some money. I can put you in my high club. What's up? What's up? Hey guys, it's Stormy and Chelsea. <laughs> Welcome to our team. You guys asked us to taste treats from all around the world. You guys like our videos when we actually taste stuff, so we decided to get a script, a subscription to treats. And if you guys do not have a subscription to them, but you also want to try different snacks and foods around the world, make sure you hit, get a subscription from them. This is not a sponsored video. But today we are going to be trying treats from the lovely country of Peru. Yeah. So what do you think these are going to be like? I feel like they're going to be kind of like, it's, wait, is Peru in South America? I, Right, it's right here, it's right here, it's right here. Don't embarrass yourself, babe. Okay, yeah, it's in South America, so I'm like gonna take, it's gonna taste like Mexico, like. I don't. I'm kind of saying. I don't. They gave us two of each snack, so um, what's really cool is we can have our own snack this time. Okay, so with the treats box, you also get a description of all the snacks, so we will be describing the snack to you before we eat it. So let's go ahead and get this started. Let's not waste any more time, because I am hungry, and you know how I get down. Let's get it. All right, so the first snack that we have here is called Marachas. And it's Marachas. by Nestle. So. Okay, it's by Nestle. So Nestle is a popular com uh, com company. And it says, Marachas by Nestle are classic Peruvian chocolate cookies consisting of two sandwich cookies sandwiching a chocolate center. The Marachas are one of the most popular treats in Peru. Good excited. Hey, don't yeah. give us one of those, I think. Really? That's yeah, you gotta share with me. Alright. Maracha! Hmm. I'm gonna share with you. Okay, we're about to try the maracha. What the hell? Sorry. I like yep. Mmm. 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 It tastes like, um. I need my own. It tastes like graham cracker mm -hmm. with chocolate in the middle. So like those cheap cookies you get from your grandma gets from Dollar Tree that are like this, but they have like the chocolate stripe. Mmm. The fudge stripe cookie. Yeah. The what? Fudge stripe. Fudge. <laughs> if you're in America and you're from the hood, you probably had a fudge stripe cookie. <laughs> That's what's gonna taste like. Oh wait. Oh, they're like mm -hmm. single cookies. I thought they were sandwich. Oh really? No. We ate all of the marachas, so on the one two, what do you give the marachas? A ten. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, cause, like all cookie ten. No, I say eight. They're good. This is the best cookie in the world. They're good. Mm -hmm. Our next treat is gonna be the the donut pepper by Leche. Are you sure it's by Leche? It's, it looks like it's by Fuel. Leche. Lacta. Okay, whatever. Um, it's a Peruvian cookie. Peruvian cookie coated in chocolate and covered with chocolate sprinkles. Donut Peppa is a very traditional cookie and was originally created in the 18th century for an annual Lord of Miracles ceremony in Peru. And it looks really cool because it's like a little brown woman on the front. I don't know if she's supposed to be Peruvian, African American, or well, not African American, obviously. I'm like, she's definitely not African American. Maybe she's African, I don't know. Oh, it's a little cookie covered in sprinkles. It looks like something definitely you give to children. It's a weird texture. I don't like sprinkles on food. Me either. It's not bad. No. This is something you get from Dollar Tree. Yeah. Not my favorite. No. Not the best, okay, but. No. It's not horrible. No. What would you rate it? Five. Out of ten? Mm -hmm. Same. The sprinkles F it up. This is mm -hmm. so crunchy. Mm hmm. And you can't taste the cookie for so many sprinkles. You can taste, yeah, I mean, all you can taste is sprinkles and some weird artificial taste. Next thing we're going to be trying is called the Qua Qua Wafers. And these are also by Lacta. So the Qua Qua Wafer by Lacta are wafer biscuits coated with chocolate, represented by its cute duck mascots. Quaquas are a household name and one of the most beloved wafers in Peru. They gave us two of these so we could have our own snack. These what remind me things? automatically of like the ones here. Wafers? Mm -hmm. With like, I never seen them with chocolate. 
Oh, um, the ones with peanut butter? Mm-hmm. Nutter butters. I feel like these look like nutter butters. They look no, not nutter butters. But nutter butters. They do. Oh, another nutter butter with the peanut butter inside. You don't like it? I love wafers. To watch the calorie amount, I'm only gonna eat half, but I want you to hold it. I like the texture of the wafer. Something about whatever's inside. Oh, chocolate cake. Yeah. Or something. Oh, you don't want this? Okay. I would rate this a, I mean, just cause it's like a normal regular thing, but kind of like a watered down chocolate, I'm gonna rate it a five out of 10. I'd say it's a four out of 10. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna be reviewing are the chocolate galletas, and galleta means cookie in Spanish, and these are, are by Picaras, and these chocolate galletas um, by Picaras are ring shaped Peruvian cookies that are partially coated with chocolate and filled with chocolate cream. These are chocolate, I mean, they love chocolate in Peru, obviously. Yeah, every single thing has been a chocolate cookie. Like, whatever happened to the salty snacks? They like chocolate. Mm -hmm. Or they like, like Lucas, like, like that kind of stuff. They eat chocolate. Okay, these look like fudge stripe cookies, but no, these are legit fudge stripe cookies. Like. I don't know, I don't like the texture already. It's very different. That coconut? I think I have a hint, a hint of coconut. Mm, more than a hint. Coconut cookie. Hmm. It's moist for a packaged cookie. It's crunchy. But it's not dry. Not good. Not bad. Wouldn't buy it. No, I wouldn't either. I'm gonna rate it a four out of 10. I'd say it's a two. It does have coconut, like a coconut taste to it. Seems like something you can get a pack of a hundred at Dollar Tree. <laughs> I'll pack them with him. <laughs> <laughs> so next we have more galletas. So these are called cornita galletas. And these are by Field, which is also another popular uh, company. Yes. So cornita galletas by Field are chocolate sandwich cookies, which make them serious, similar to marachas. Cornitas along with marachas are considered two of the most popular cookies in Peru. It looks exactly like the other one, so that's probably why. Oh, wow. Just it's the sandwich. Yeah, it's the sandwich instead of like the. All the cookies just seem like Dollar Tree cookies. Like they're good, but they just seem so like. There's no chocolate chips. I don't know. It's just like this fake fudge. Mm -mm -mm -mm. They're good. Mm -hmm. These are really good. Mm. I actually like these a lot. Mm, these are good. You want yours? Uh, yeah, I don't, maybe. Mmm. These are so good. Mm-hmm. The cookie, the chocolate's on the end, but the cookie. I like the chocolate. I like the cookie. It's like a shortbread or something. I was just gonna say a shortbread cookie. A good shortbread cookie. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna rate this one a 10, like the other one. I go to seven, y'all. This is good. They're very soft, but mm. not too mm. soft that they're breaking. Mm. <laughs> I like food. I like, food. I like food. eating cookies. This is good. Mm. I actually like this cookie a lot. I would buy this. I'm like legit. I would buy it for him. But like in a big pack. Yeah, it's good. This by field art artisanal cookies that everyone will love crunchy in texture and light in taste the slogan for soda galletas in peru is we give it the best we give soda feel okay huh? um yes yeah. maybe it's the best i don't i don't know okay like peanut butter crackers immediately it's already like crunched up in here which lets me know that it's a very delicate it's a very delicate it's snack oh yeah it is uh they look like oh. saltine crackers from one. Yeah. 
That's a salty. Where do you go? What is this? Dang darn. It's a cracker. With no, no salt, salt on it. Yeah, so these yeah. are just like crackers. Like, like they taste like crackers. crackers. They're saltine crackers with no There's salt. There's no salt. They're it's just teen crackers. No salt, just teen. Like you could get these for soup and eat these. But they're definitely not edible. Special. One out of ten. Yeah, a one. Really? I mean, it's just a cracker. I mean, damn. It's getting a one just because they're false advertising it as a snack. Yeah, I mean, they did make it a snack. It's a snack. It's a snack. snack. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Subline by Nestle is a rich, richly flavored chocolate bar filled with crushed peanuts. The sweet taste of the chocolate is balanced against the saltiness of the peanut, giving it a very unique taste. Try. Oh, truly sublime. They didn't come with no games, no BS. Look at that thickness right there, y'all. That's like finger thick. We only get one of these, uno, so we're just gonna taste it together. Together. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Oh, it looks good. It does. It's oh my very, gosh. Ooh. Yeah, it looks very hard. I need one of these by myself. I don't want to share. Get a little piece. Let's bite it at the same time. And you're gonna get a little piece. I know, we're this. gonna bite it at the same time. Well, you just get a little piece. I don't want it. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Here. Greedy. <laughs> Go. Ah! Uh -uh. <laughs> Go. Okay. Okay. Mm. It tastes like Nestle. It's good. Mm-hmm. One more for the roller. I, I I I'm on my. I don't want to clear. I'm trying to get the nut. Hmm. Okay. It's good. It's alright. Compared to the Latin, good, it's kind of like the good bar. You ever had a Mr. Good bar? Mm hmm. Kind of a Mr. Good bar. But lacking a little bit of the chocolate flavor. Mm, and like, not it's as like, much sugar. Or well, chocolate. Or cocoa. Yeah. Like genuine cocoa powder. Like just like, I kind of taste like the cocoa was mixed with another substance and sugar to yeah. make a chocolate bar rather than just a pure yeah, chocolate. Cocoa, cocoa, yeah. So with that being said, I'm going to rate it a 7 out of 10. Same. Our next snack is going to be the margarita galleta. Y'all know what that word means now. If you don't know Spanish, margarita cookies. Mm -hmm. These are mm -hmm. cookies. These are cookies. Once again, these kind of like shortbread cookies. Mm, thank you. All right. No, wait, 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 wait. Really? Okay. Come on. All right, y'all. Here's our margarita galleta. Hey, wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> here's our margarita galleta. <laughs> Wait, wait! Uh, Looks like a sunflower. Wait, 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 wait! You didn't wait for me. <laughs> hmm. Ooh! It's it's just as good as the other cookies, but it's missing the chocolate, which makes me like the other cookie more. I just want more because the chocolate was nasty. However, if I would have had this cookie first, I would have been like, oh, this cookie's awesome. It's not just something to get from Dollar Tree, though. Mm -mm. This one's better quality, you know what I'm saying? Mm -mm, it's thousand. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. This is better quality. It is really short, sure, This is a dollar general. <laughs> At least, yeah, dollar general. <laughs> Pretty good. This is my second one. I'm gonna eat one more. Okay. That's good. Yeah, they are. They're very, like, grandma-ish. I, I like the grandma taste. Mm hmm You know how your grandma... Always has that snack in her cabinet. She always has. It's either wafers, or the candy jar. those nasty candies that they be having. You know those um, zebra stripe and those Chico Choco whatever. Yep. And they be having a signature cookie. This would be somebody's grandma's signature cookie. What's your grandma? What's your mom's signature cookie? Them, them chocolate and vanilla ones in that cookie jar. <laughs> My mom ain't got no signature shit. My mom's old. Next, we're gonna try the vanilla by Field. And the vanilla by Field are vanilla flavored cookies. One thing that makes Field's vanilla cookies stand out from other vanilla cookies in the market is because they are safe for vegans. 
They contain no milk and are free of trans fat. I don't know about fat. I like my trans fat and milk. Right off the bat, no, again, funny. from looking at the freaking cover, it looks like a dang shortbread cookie. Not for me. For one, the vanilla tastes very artificial. This is a graham cracker. It is a graham cracker. Yeah, it's a graham cracker. And the vanilla is not even abstract. It's like some, you don't know. It don't taste like abstract. It's very slight. Like it's mostly like wheat. It tastes mostly like wheat, whole grain, coffee. You need a little bit of vanilla. It tastes very natural though. It has like a very naturalistic taste to it. Trust when you would dip in your coffee. It is. My granny would love this kind of coffee. One out of ten. I would rate this a four. Yep. Five. Really? Yeah, I mean it's just a fifty. You can get a fifty. So our last snack is gonna be the Inca Plantain Chips by Inca Crop Inca Crops. And the Inca Plantain Chips by Inca Crops are made from high quality plantains that are sliced and roasted in pure palm oil. These chips are healthy, light, and crispy and can be enjoyed with dips or straight from the bag. Look, you almost killed the dog. Yeah, he ain't crazy. His head was on your feet. Okay. <laughs> Don't let us smoke the dog's head on camera. I would have been sad. We're about to try these plantains. We, I hate plantains. This is like, our first chip. Like this is our first and only chip in the box. Is this really kind of a chip? Um, I think so. Yeah, because it says plantain chips. I don't like plantains at all. Uh, in Guatemala, they eat them a lot for breakfast. And when we were out there, I could not even eat them for breakfast. I don't like them. But let's see if I like them dried and seasoned, salted. I can't do it. I'm scared. Mm. I can't do it. It's not as bad as I thought. I can't. Really? Oh my God. I, I really don't like it. I probably would just lick the seasoning off. I'm not gonna lie. There ain't no seasoning. Like you did? <laughs> Prince was like, I'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. Uh, one out of 10. Um, one out of a 10, one. one. Yeah. Definitely not, but I feel like if you like plantain, plantains, you can get these a two. And they really do give you like a lot. If of you like plantains, it'll probably be a ten. What are you talking about? Two. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you like having a lot, like they give you a lot of these. Like this is a huge bag. Like how many serving sizes is this? This is four serving sizes. So yeah, and the, they don't do like America where they fill the bag with air. This is actually but that's because it's four serving sizes. No, I'm saying the bag's not full of air. They actually fill the bag up with food. Well, the chips they give you in America that are this size are one serving size. Yeah. Let us know down below if you guys actually want us to do more videos like these and try more um, worldwide snacks or whatever. This is a lot of fun. I'm glad we got like a lot of chocolate because I love chocolate. I'm hopefully on the next one they send us lots of salty snacks, like chips and stuff. Yeah, I would like that too actually. Yeah, but this was a lot of fun, like seriously. And for the most part, we didn't have anything nasty, which was even really except for more. Yeah, except for those that was nasty. I didn't like those at all. Um, but yeah, so make sure you guys subscribe to our channel if you have not already hit that subscribe button. I know you like us, so just hit the subscribe button. Don't be fake. Get in those comments. We need to know these answers ASAP. We need to know, okay? Make sure you um, you follow us on you now. Our you now name is Stormy and Chastity or you now.com slash Stormy and Chastity. It will also be in the link in the description box. Make sure you follow us on our social media channels, our pages such as Instagram, Facebook. Uh, what else do we have? Snapchat? All that stuff. All, of All that in stuff. the description. All in the description box. And make sure you are consistently entering into that giveaway because on Saturday we will announce our next winner. Yeah, so excited for that. <laughs> and make sure you have that bell on so you're notified every single time we make a new video. Thanks so much for tuning into our video and we will see you guys on the next one. Peace! Peace. I don't know. Yep, you do. What? <laughs> what? You didn't know how you're doing that. I gotta go. Give me a kiss back. I'm only kissing you. You didn't even kiss me. Give me a kiss. I'm
I want five kisses and I gotta go now. Right. Go. Mwah, 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 mwah. Love you, bye.